Yeah, I've already answered my question before. So here's a secret. Take this away. What? What? <laughs> you just do that. And that's a shortcut. That's gonna help you really... That's gonna help you a lot. Uh, oh, here we go. Baron is a modern day descendant of the famous Carlisle bloodline. He continually strives to keep his ancestors happy. What? Otherwise, they come and visit from the grave. That is why he feels right at home in the haunted mansion, and is also why he drives with such a grave purpose. I want with a grave purpose. <laughs> if I... If I believe it... Then I can do it. <laughs> if I just believe it, there's nothing to it. I believe I can win swamp level. <laughs> I think about it every night and day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gonna no. try to come in first place. <laughs> <laughs> Take that chip! Oh no! Everyone shut up! Everyone shut up! Everyone shut up! Everyone shut up! Everyone shut up. No! <laughs> you were so Frogs, frogs, frogs! Acorns. Hey, those are following ones. You might want to get in before you press the end. You're gonna oh win! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! No! <laughs> <laughs> you dirty! <laughs> oh, <it's> so <laughs> no! on the course today, I think you'll notice wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of wrong ways around here, Jimmy. I don't think you want to know what's going on with a person in sixth place. <laughs> Actually, I would prefer you didn't bring that up. That's my little baby cousin, and he's very sensitive about his skills on the course. <laughs> As you can see, there's a extreme difference between the times of lap one and lap two. Now, Jimmy, when it comes to time, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> now, personally, to me, time is a thing you can put on the wall or wear it on your wrist. The past is far behind you, Jimmy. The future does not exist. What is the time? It is quarter to nine. Time to take a bath? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm already clean. Scrub, scrub, scrub to the water. It's brown, brown jet. <laughs> Greg? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We're back here on the course today watching. I'm Baron. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I didn't know I had a talking segment right there. <laughs> you did not, Baron. I actually forgot your name in my notes. <laughs> my secretary, Susan, was supposed to collect my notes. Talking to yourself? <laughs> you ever take an acorn to the ass, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> now, with all these racers here, who do you think will come... <laughs> um, it's one of my most fondest <gasps> memories. Oh wait, till what? You, what? <laughs> uh, What's going on? <laughs> please stay within the confines of the level. Chet, when do you think the track will be back? <laughs> you are Chet. <laughs> Brian, when do you think the chat? I am Jimmy. <laughs> Brian, when do you think the chat will be back? <laughs> <laughs> Who is Brian? <laughs> Brad, I do really need you. I really need you.
I'm chewing my last bite. <laughs> how was the concession stands over there? So well, how was the concession stands over there? Well, the fact of the matter is, I got day-old pizza. <laughs> day-old pizza at the concession stands. Pretty normal thing. Day-old cold pizza. I'd sue. <laughs> I would too. But my secretary, Susan, quit. I talked to Susan the other day. We're having a baby. <laughs> That's great news. I wish you would have told me that, Chet. I know you liked Susan all those years ago, but the fact of the matter remains, Susan's just really good at bed. <laughs> and she likes me more. Actually, Chet, fact of the matter is, I like you. <laughs> and it's hard <laughs> for me to hear that you've been sleeping with someone else. <laughs> as much as I appreciate the thought, my feelings go to Brad. <laughs> and as you can see today, yeah. the course is here. here. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that didn't happen last time we saw the course, and it's just really great to see him back again. <sighs> that was just Jimmy calling. We we uh, didn't pick up. <laughs> Today's supposed to be Jimmy's day off. You know how he is. Always comes into work, whether it's his day off or not. We are literally hiding in a dumpster to avoid Jimmy right now. <laughs> Jimmy's also been calling ever since he found out that we both were with Susan. Oh, you were with Susan too? I was. Oh yeah, that was like at the same time. <laughs> I remember you there now. <laughs> disturbed because I saw my face. Do you, ever, do you ever feel that way sometimes, Chet? <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never looked in a mirror before. I've never actually seen my face. I just go off what other people tell me about my face and its structure. Be honest with me. Am I an alligator? <laughs> no. <laughs> If you're a scientist, Chet, what made you decide to go into announcing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, science doesn't pay for <laughs> you bring You bring them a thing and that says, I might be an alligator. They say, this isn't science. You might be fire. <laughs> you go, all right, I'll be an announcer. <laughs> you know... No, I, I can't say that I can uh, relate to that scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Our relationship has never been that great, <laughs> Greg. <laughs> to be honest, I've been jealous of your car. <laughs> of my car? <laughs> your 2004 Honda Civic really <laughs> is impressive. <laughs> You ever been naked, Greg? <laughs> I mean, I think everyone has. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's pretty normal, pretty natural. <laughs> of course. I have too, obviously. Greg, do you think you're a man? <laughs> you're a big man. <laughs> I don't think I'm a big man, but I am a man. Sometimes. <laughs> Alright, Greg. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> um, and the frog has crossed lap three. <laughs> Tell me, Greg, if you were in this race, would you drive your 2004 Honda <laughs> I don't think so, Chet. Could I drive your 2004 blue four-door Honda Civic? I don't trust you, Chet. I have my gator, my uh, my driver's license. Did you? Were you gonna say you have your gator license? Oh. Have you ever 
never gotten stuck <laughs> in a teacup? <laughs> <coughs> Only a small one. <laughs> it fell from a shelf, landed on my foot. I it was somehow fit perfectly, but a little too perfectly. I couldn't pull it off. I had to have surgery. They replaced my foot with the foot of a particular animal. <laughs> when I feed myself, I close my eyes. I find that difficult to believe that <laughs> I found you looking at yourself through the reflection on my butt. <laughs> <laughs> You ever been to Iraq, Greg? Come here, you doggy. 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 Come here, you doggy.